Hello boys and girls, Miss Do here, and if you are watching this, then I'm already that... Whoops! Wrong line! Well, if you are watching this, then someone is already that, and we're here to remember his or her name. Actually, we're here to remember their stories. Today's case is about two little girls named Alessia and Livia. The case happened in 2011, and it is still unsolved. Come on, let's begin. On January the 28th, 2011, six-year-old twin girls Livia and Alessia Shep were picked up by their father, Matthias Shep. He was Canadian-born Swiss in their hometown of San Salpes, Switzerland. It was planned for him to drop the girls back at their mom's house two days later, on Sunday, January the 30th. Matthias, an engineer, and his wife, Irina Lucidi, she was Italian and a lawyer, have been through a nasty separation after had been together for six years, but had shared custody of Livia and Alessia. Matthias was not taking the divorce very well. Despite the acrimony, Irina continued to let Matthias spend time with the girls, even allowing them to spend three weeks with him in the Caribbean over Christmas. According to Irina, the girls loved their daddy and wanted to see him as often as they could. On Saturday, January, January the 29th, Matthias sent a text message to Irina asking if it would be Okay, if he dropped the girls off at school on Monday the 21st of January, instead of bringing them home to their mom on Sunday. Irina replied that she would prefer that the girls come home first. Irina never heard from Matthias or the girls again. A will was found at his home addressed to his daughters, his ex-wife, and a few other close family members and friends. It was dated January the 27th. Irina immediately went to the police, who initially told her not to worry, that Matthias would bring the girls home soon. And uh, after all, he was Swiss. As though that was supposed to be a goat of confidence. I'm not sure if he was praising Swiss people or insulting at Italians. Remember that Irina is Italian. On January the 21st, Irina received a postcard from Matthias, postmarked from Marseille, France. Approximately 520 kilometers, or 320 miles, separate the two towns. Um, the postcard stated that he can't live without Irina. Matthias bought three ferry tickets for the ferry leaving Marseille for the French island of Corsica on January the 31st. The ferry was due to arrive in the town of Propriano the next morning. Eyewitnesses placed Matthias and the twins on the ferry. No eyewitnesses came forward to state whether or not Matthias disembarked the ferry with the twins. Inexplicably, Matthias returned alone to the mainland the next day, February the 2nd. On the ferry leaving the French town of Bastia, arriving the southern French town of Tolin. On February the 3rd, Matthias was seen in Naples, Italy. He allegedly sent several more letters to his wife, one of which contained 8,000 euros in cash. Now, the things I will tell will piss you off. On February the 4th, Matthias committed suicide by throwing himself under a high-speed terrain in the Apulia region of Italy, southern Italy. The girls were nowhere to be found. Matthias' car, a black Audi A6 with Swiss plates, was found in the Italian town in Serignola after his suicide. Traces of one of the twins' saliva was found in the trunk. Unfortunately, there wasn't enough saliva to be used for toxicology tests, which would have allowed authorities to better direct their inquiry. For example, whether sleeping pills or poison were in their system. Authorities couldn't rule out indirect contact for the saliva, so nothing could actually prove that the twin spent any time in the trunk. Studies of his computer found that he had researched firearm, firearms, and poison in the days leading up to the kidnapping. 
One of the last letters sent to his wife stated that he was the last to die at the train station of Serignola, implying that the twins were already deceased. In another letter, he stated that the children rest in peace they have not suffered. Authorities think that Matthias may have had a mental breakdown during the separation from his wife, but his actions seem also to point to quite a bit of planning. Two main theories point to Matthias having killed the ghost to get revenge on Irina, or Matthias having sent the ghost to live abroad with family or friends. According to my thoughts, the twins are already dead because I feel like if they were sent to somewhere, someone would find them. Or maybe Matthias locked the ghost to somewhere before committing suicide and the girls died in there. Or he just, you know, killed them. I'm not sure, but I feel like if they were alive, they would be found already. I'm talking too much, right? I will finish now, I'm sorry. Alicia and Livia are still missing after 10 years. They have been found neither dead nor alive. Thank you for watching. Thank you for remembering these little girls with me. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe. If I told something wrong or if I missed something about the case, you may correct me by writing a comment. Sometimes comments get turned off because of the graphic content and I'm so sorry about that. Have a life full of stars. Till then.